Welcome to the video series on the Portal Connector for Dynamic CRM. In this video, we'll look at defining security permissions. So let's set the stage. We have our demo website, and in the top right you'll see we've got a link to Secure Portal. But before we start looking at the pages, let's go into Dynamic CRM and open up a contact. And what we'll see is, if I extend the menu, I'll have the option to manage portal roles. So in this example we have Jim Glynn, and we'll see that Jim has been given access to the customer portal. We know what the last set username and password is, his profile is enabled, and he's currently assigned the security role of partner portal user. Now I can turn off his access to the partner portal just by checking that button and clicking save, or I could update his password and click reset and reset his password or I could grant him access to the security role called vendor portal users. This is how I manage Jim's profile and access to the portal right from within Dynamic CRM. So if I go back into my example website you'll see that I seem to have access, even though I have not logged in as a user yet into the portal, I seem to have access to a series of pages allowing me to update my, my personal profile. Well, that shouldn't be. We need to go and set some permissions on those pages. So, as a portal connector and Sitefinity administrator, I'm going to log in to the back end of Sitefinity, and I'm going to go and navigate to Pages. And let's look at the permissions that are currently set for the page Profile and Member Management. So if I follow along over and I click Actions, you'll see I can edit the page's permissions. And what I see here is a quite a detailed set of permissions that I can work with. And what we're going to focus on first is that currently this page is inheriting its permissions from its parent page. And the parent page is the home page and the home page of the whole website currently has anonymous access allowing everybody to be able to access pa this page whether you're logged in or not to the website. And that's okay for a home page, but not for a portal page. So what I'm going to do is break the inheritance. So now it no longer inherits a permission and I can go and change the permissions of who is able to view this page and its child pages. I click the change button and I can choose from many different options, but I want to select the specific roles that are able to view this page. Add a role. Here are all the different roles that are currently active in Sitefinity and the Portal Connector. And I'm going to check off the Partner Portal User role. Click Done. And Done. And now you'll see that only the people who have logged in with the security role of partner portal user should be able to access that page. So I'm going to go back. So let's flip back over to our public website. I'm going to refresh the screen and now you'll see that, oh, I don't have access to that page anymore. I'm going to click on secure portal, log in as Jim, and now I have access to the Profile and Member Management section. So let's take this a step further now. What if I wanted to add an additional role? Rather than granting permission to the uh, portal user role, what if I wanted to create a specific role that just allows me to manage who can access and update those specific pages, rather than knowing that all these pages are covered by the same security role? I'm going to go back into my CRM. And what I want to do now is I want to go to settings. Now I can add roles either in Sitefinity or in CRM. And I'm going to show you how to, to do it from CRM because that's probably where you're going to end up managing most of your access to your portal. So I'm going to go to settings and then under settings you'll have access to portal roles. And it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to add a new role. I'm going to call this the Update Profile role. Click Save and Close. So let's go back and look at Jim's 
permissions. I click on the ellipsis, manage portal roles. Now I have the ability to check off update profile. And I'm going to click save. So what's happened is that now the portal connector has replicated that security role over into Sitefinity and granted any page that has permission set to the update profile role will now be granted to Jim. But hold on a sec, we haven't actually applied that role to any of the pages in Sitefinity. So let's go back into Sitefinity and let's just go make sure that things have transferred over properly. So we'll go into administration and users. And we'll see that Jim Glynn now has the update profile role that we created in CRM. It's moved over here into Sitefinity. And let's just double make sure, look under roles. And we have the update profile role here as well. So let's sign some explicit permissions to the update profile role. So if I go to pages and under profile and member management and go to actions and permissions, I'm going to change these permissions and I'm just going to remove access to that page completely. So we can double check and make sure that this is working properly. So we'll switch back over to the public website. Jim is here. He's logged in. I refresh the screen and he does not have access to his uh, pages, the update profile, because I have removed all permissions on the page. So now, unless you are an administrator of the system, which Jim is not, you won't be able to access this page on the public portal. So let's go back into Sitefinity to the profile member management page, go under actions, permissions, and let's change the permissions here. And now to select role, we'll add that role. And it was the update profile role. Done selecting. Done. And now if we flip back into our public website, hit refresh. And now we'll see that Jim has access to update his personal profile and his company profile all the pages that are child to the profile member member management page. So that's an overview of how you can create roles in Dynamic CRM. You can assign those roles to individual contacts in CRM and you can then set specific pages permission based on the roles that you are using to organize the security and the permissions within your portal. For more information about the portal connector for Dynamic CRM you can visit our website at crmportalconnector.com. Give us a call at 1-877-728-5457 or follow us on Twitter at CRM Portal. Thank you.